and he's about to pick the baits for me today. I think we can make this work, folks. You, were you shaking your head? Oh, no, no, no. I, I believe me. Oh, hang on. Got him. He is so tiny. He is so tiny. Got him, though, baby. <laughs> Take that, Larry. You thought you were gonna get me on that little jig? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, how are y'all doing today? So we are, we're at Walmart again. So we're, here's the thing. Since the coronavirus hit, can I even say that on YouTube anymore? Like, are they gonna block me because of that? I don't know. Anyway, since the thing hit, everybody's been fishing, which is a good thing. There's so many people fishing. The only problem is, y'all have left me nothing in Walmart to film with. Like, I've got nothing. There's nothing I can use. You, you've sort of taken everything. So this is gonna be selecting either the best from the worst or the worst from the worst. I don't even know what we're doing. We gotta figure out what they got in there. But I know I'm probably gonna have like a 20 to $25 cap and the person selecting for me. Will he screw me? That's Larry Melton Jr. Y'all know him. I'm gonna leave his link in the description. Y'all go check out his YouTube channel. He's freaking blowing up. And he's about to pick the baits for me today. And uh, treat, be kind. We'll try. We'll be, do our best. Be kind. No promises. No be promises. Kind. I mean, we're friends now, right? A little bit. Okay, we'll so. We'll see when we get in here. Oh, we're about to. <laughs> we'll see how close we are in just a minute. Y'all stay tuned. Let's go. All right, folks. So we are. Is this recording? Is that. Is that. Yep. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so we're recording now. We've got Larry. Larry, don't don't do me dirty. Try not to. But you got you got twenty dollars. Okay. You can pick whatever you want. So like five baits for twenty dollars is what we're really looking at. So I need five fish. What it, what it really boils down to. So what are you thinking? All right. So I think what we're gonna start off with is yeah. probably some pink trick worms right here. Ooh. Okay. Pink bubble gum colored trick Going worms. Going with the bubble gum. Oh, that's three and a half dollars. Okay. So you gotta go with the dollar spinner bait, of course. Okay, dollar spinner bait. Let's see, let's find you an okay color. The red and or pink and yellow color, pink and chartreuse. Why are you getting all the pink stuff, man? <laughs> like you do, you doing me wrong with all the pink stuff. I'm telling you, maybe. I think, maybe I, I think I've given you the wrong impression about me. <laughs> let's see what else. Let's go with the hopper. Let me get you a top water bite, you want. Right, the, the rebel, rebel popper. popper. All right, and that's that's what five dollars. Five. Yeah, roughly seven. five. So we're rounding, by the way, guys. Seven so eight. At, so we're at what nine fifty. Yeah. Okay. So you've that got roughly nine. ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten fifty to uh, to round out two more baits. Let's go with a Rapala jerk bait. All right, six dollar Rapala jerk bait. There you go. Let's see what let's see what we got here. Husky jerk baits balanced, okay. Neutral balance, okay. So not floating, not sinking, we're suspending right there. I like that. Okay. So you've got like basically like four fifty or so left. Yeah. Let's take a walk back then. Let's go with the jig. Okay. We don't have a jig here. So we're gonna stay on the pink trend and get you something with a little bit of pink in it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So he's got me like a little swim jig there, the hack attack swim jig, and that is what, like four and a thirty. So we just stay just right under there. twenty dollars, right just there. under twenty dollars. So these are our baits. I think we can make this work, folks. You, what are you shaking your head? Oh, no, 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 I, I believe me. My boy's doing me dirty. So all right, we're gonna get to the pond real quick. Um, thanks for thanks for making this oh, hard. I Hopefully appreciate it. Good video for you. Mm. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. We are back out at the pond. We've got the old Dink Express. We've got Christopher right there. And we've got the baits in that Walmart bag. Right there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right there. Those are the baits that old Larry Melton Jr. picked out for me at Walmart. Hopefully he didn't screw me over too bad. I know we got a bubblegum trick worm in there. That's, that's already pretty bad enough. We've got a jig that I'm not sure he realized it when he picked it out, but it's actually a swim jig. I'm not going to fish it like a swim jig. I'm actually gonna fish it like a regular jig. What size is three that? It's a th oh, that's three, three eighths isn't too bad. That's a pretty good size swim jig. Oh yeah, it's, it's the hack attack jig. This little guy right here, but it is definitely a swim jig. But I'm gonna drag it on the bottom because that's what's gonna work. We've also got the jerk bait. This is just a reminder if y'all haven't, really to remind myself, I like the jerk bait. I like the little chartreuse cool. line on it too. Little rebel popper. Hopefully we can get bit on that. This a dollar spinner bait. Color on this may be a problem. 
No. Got a rattle in it? No. I can own that. I got that. Okay. I can make it happen. And the bubblegum trick worms. Pretty in pink. That's right. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get in the boat real quick. We're gonna rig up some tackle and we're going to start fishing. Hopefully, we're only after five fish, Chris. Five, five right. fish. We can do it. We can do it. I think we can do it. I think I think we got the odds are good. Look, when you are when you're dressed for success, you're in your catch co shirt, you're in your bee fishing gear, Center got logo. your shirt on. No, side logo. Always the side logo. If you need side, just do like that. Need center, just go like that. Boom. You know? Do you know why we did the side, lo the center logo? Because I wanted a center logo. Yeah, people over 50. That, that's really that's the reason we did the center logo. People over 50. <laughs> Guys, stay tuned. We're going to the chest in three, two. So we're actually officially on the boat. I've got a purple. I got the purple trick worm on a Texas rig. I also could bite it down and put it on that drop shot, but we're going to hold off on that. I've got the spinner bait tied on that rod right there. The jig tied on that one. Chris, you got the jerk bait, which is no surprise because I can't, I hate jerk baits. And the popper. And the popper. So Chris is going to be working the jerk bait and the popper. You shouldn't hate your own. Yeah, I know. I'm a jerk. I get it. All right. So here's the deal, guys. If you have just tuned in, you're about to try to click off. Number one, we're about to start catching fish while you're trying to click off of the video. Number two, if you stay and watch the whole thing, it helps out my channel and I'll reward you with a giveaway but I'm gonna hide the stuff in the middle of the giveaway that you've got to do. So you need to watch all the way through for me and uh, I will reward you with the chance to win all these baits. So Chris, you ready to go? Let's do it, son. Let's get on, let's, let's go. Let's get on some fish. I'm gonna start with the spinner bait. However, I am going to rig up the, uh, that jig and I'm gonna leave it where I can fish it like an actual like flipping jig or a swim jig. I'm gonna put on these exopods you didn't know these are fresh on to the market i think they're just open to the public now they were only available to shop carl's members three and a half inch little exopod think of it like a rage menace anywhere you used a rage menace you can use these guys and it's it's cheaper than a rage menace that's yeah, not too bad looks good. it looks pretty good all right like i said i'm gonna put that up but i wanted to go ahead and have it rigged there's y'all Brett bait pays off again. Barely hooked. Oh, barely hooked. There he goes. He's not a bad size fish, Chris. Jerk bait's already done. I'm not even, I haven't even made a cast yet. All right, baby. Let's go bub bub. And I did that All right, so you're on the popper now, right? On the popper. Chris has got the popper. I've got the little crazy colored spinner bait here like this wild color this is this is i think larry's attempt to try to to try to get me so is there anything other than oh hang on you like the moving bait now ah, got him I was just about to ask if Chris needed anything me to, for me to order him on Shop Carl's. But here we go. Got a fish. Barely hooked there. That little dollar spinner bait. If you don't know about the Walmart dollar spinner baits, you need to go get yourself acquainted. They're actually pretty dang good in a pond. Like they're like the perfect size. Look at that fish. He's not too bad. Dude, they're getting bigger. They are getting bigger for sure. The shad was definitely the thing. Uh, I don't know how much you paid for them, but next year I'm definitely going in on you in on you with the uh the shad because these guys are getting thicker holy crap that's i like to see that later dude didn't want to drop him too far y'all see me sort of second guess that drop there that was that was yeah that was very smooth i guess i'm going jig now and because because they're hitting moving i may i may try to swim it a little bit too it really is a pretty color it's got like purple, blue, a little bit of chartreuse, a lot of skirt colors. It's got that silicone tie on it. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I really like a hand tied skirt. So fun fact for Chris, as well as y'all at home, since we were talking about how we put you put shad in earlier mm -hmm. and the fish are starting to get bigger. Do you know on average how many pounds of bait fish it takes for a two pound fish to grow or no three pound fish? I think it's three pound fish to grow one pound. Seven, seven pounds. 10 pounds. But for a three pound fish on average to gain another pound and become a four pound fish, 
it needs 10 pounds, it needs to eat 10 pounds of bait. Now think about that on how, how big shad are. They don't weigh that much. It's a lot of fish. Oh, hang on. Got him. Oh, he's a good one. I uh, know. Ah. There we go. Yeah, he's got tagging him. Look at there, buddy. Take that, Larry. You thought you were going to get me on that little jig? There you go. On the exoswim. Look at that. Why do I have to keep wanting to say exoswim? It's the exopod, Brett. It's the freaking exopod. On a little swim jig. Dude, he's a thick one. I like that. Yes. Good gracious. Hello. Back in the water. It's like he didn't realize he was even in the water. All right, so the swim jig is done uh, with the exopod on it. That's freaking sweet. So now all we got left is the bubblegum worm and the popper. And I was completely wrong because I told Chris I thought he would get bit first before I got bit on that swim jig. But it did take exactly what I thought. It took a pound and a half or more of a fish to, to get that. Luckily, we have those now. Jeez. Okay, I may switch from the Texas rig here and just try something different. All right. I'm going to take this trick worm and I'm actually going to bite it down. Bite the worm. Right around where that little worm sack is right there. Oh, got one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he is, he is so tiny. Woo. He is so tiny. Got him, though, baby. <laughs> That's what we do here. We only catch, we only catch studs. It's a monster. Listen, it ain't named the Dink Express for nothing. You know what they say about a fish that size, Chris? What's that? Still counts. That's right. <laughs> Unless you're interning. Yeah, right. There he goes. Woohoo! That one's done. Now it's onto the worm. It's worming, worming. Can we get bit on this little pink bubblegum worm? I'm not sure you how to do it, son. I don't think I need your help. Got On the old drop shot, I, he swam toward me. Look at that. That is in his butt. All right, there you go, folks. He is a, uh, he's a little red in the mouth. I think he's gonna be all right. He is tagged, but he's too small. I ain't gonna weigh him or measure him. I'm just gonna let him go. Hopefully he'll swim off right here. Let's see. Ooh, he did a backflip. As long as he don't float up in a minute, I think he's gonna be all right. But he definitely swallowed this thing like to his hind end. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's episode. We were able to complete the challenge. It was a little over an hour it took, I think. We got bit on a couple pretty early. The jerk bait and the jig did really, really well. What was the other one we had that did okay? The spinner bait. Spinner bait did really well too. It was the popper and the bubblegum trick worms that gave us the most fits uh, Chris was able to bring it home with the dink of the day on the popper. Monster. I mean, you didn't even see the splash because, well, all it was was a water drop. But either way, we got it done. Uh, I want to thank Larry Melton for uh, picking out the baits, even though I, th I think he thought he had me on a couple of those. But come on now. Me and Chris, you, you can't get us. We got you. We got you all day. Y'all be sure to check out his channel. I picked out some baits for him as well. And um, we'll see if uh, that when that video comes out how he did. And uh, if you liked having him on the channel, like the collab, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments as well as the comments you need to make if you want to win those baits. I'll ship them out to you. Also, go over to his channel. Leave some comments on his videos that he should fish with me again if y'all want to see that. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Uh, as always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys watched all the way through to help out my channel. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Later. Later.